Hello everyone, um, I'm just going to be going over our project for the capstone for the University of Virginia. Um, so our problem definition we were described is the University of Virginia has a vent on the research building that every winter it builds up with frost and due to it being the frost building up it's unable to suck in air so someone has to actually go up there and brush it off manually. Um, so we have actually are proposing a solution to that here for our project. So the vent itself, uh, my um, subsystem is actually the frost wiper. So when the vent gets clogged up, we I have, my part is to have a linear motion actuator that will be driven by a motor that has a brush system run on rails. So when it's act activated, it basically starts the brush moves it back and forth. Um, right now we're just in the process of doing our calculations to figure out how much force we actually require for that. Um, however, we feel that it should be enough as the brush rotates to remove the frost. Um, I'm also doing the power aspect of this to power the system. So for that, we have 120 volts AC coming in. I'm gonna have a step down transformer that will step it down to a voltage that the Raspberry Pi will be able to run on. Um, my other subsystem is actually the real-time display as well. So for that, it actually plugs into the Raspberry Pi itself. And we've actually looked at a couple of LCDs off um, DigiKey that will work with our system. We're actually just want to make sure that due to it being very cold up there, we need an LCD that won't actually freeze over. So we're actually looking into calculations and requirements to fulfill that need. Um, I'll hand it off to my partners and he can explain his part. So uh, as our friend Amrit explains, uh, um, our, so the main function of our project is uh, the frost wiper because, um, well, we need to get rid of the frost on the vent during winter time. So the, um, so the airflow of the vent would um, get to the requirement values. Um, but my job so my part is um, making this whole um, project more robust, more re reliable. So um, what I'm working on is a um, self-monitoring system and a um, remote user, user interface. Uh, what I mean by um, self-monitoring system is, uh, so we have two optical sensor so, um, for uh, monitoring if there are um, frost built up on the grid um, like during uh, non-operational time but those sensors can also be used for monitoring if the um, brush moves as expect if expected uh, during the um, uh, operation of the um, linear actuator um, so basically it works like we have a um, expected time from this point to this point uh, during the operation of the brush and uh, either it moves faster or uh, slower than expected um, there will be error message sent to the uh, well the rest of the Pi will send to the um, remote user interface and uh, the real-time display and that's how it ensures if the um, if the brushes moves as um, works as expected or not and uh, for the user interface, we are going to have a, um, a web application which uh, for, uh, is, can be used for those um, managers to um, have a log of the event through the uh, event monitoring system, which would be explained by uh, Rolentain later. And the, basically the image was sent to the um, Pi and uh, the Pi would send the image to the app. And also, this app can uh, act as a um, as a manual activation of our uh, brush uh, if the manager is not set satisfied with the result uh, on the uh, well the result done by the automation um, process. So um, that's how it uh, makes the whole project more robust, and uh, it is connect through Wi-Fi, which it would be pretty easy to um, download with the Raspberry Pi because it's programmed by Python.
Okay. Hi Paul, my name is Volantine and as my group members have already presented, uh, Jen and Amwad, that we are working on uh, the first wiper. Um, so in this project, my part is to work with the sensors and also the vent monitoring system. So what happens is that uh, we need to know the when the vent is locked, uh, when the vent is blocked by uh, by the, the the force, and be able to tell our wiper to activate the wiping mode. So the sensors uh, we, we are planning to use uh, the differential air pressure sensor and uh, the optical sensor. So uh, looking at the size of the vent, uh, we might end up using about four of those differential sensors, uh, one at each of the end. So what happens, the way this functions is that um, it measures the, the airflow between the vent, the, 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 the air inside and that outside. So um, when, the, when the pressure inside is far less than the pressure outside, it uh, sends a signal to the main system that uh, the vent is blocked or that the pressure inside is, is, is low and that activates now the motor and triggers the wiper to ride on uh, to go uh, wiping so um, for the optical sensor it also it has this uh, similar function to the differential sensor so for the optical sensor it uses more of the light uh, when the light inside is when the vent inside is dark it's blocked without snow or uh, the, the force so it now sends now a signal to the main system that uh, the the vent is blocked, and it now triggers the wipe the wiper to go wiping. So those are just like a summary of of how this uh, the sensors work. So we also have um, uh, alternative um, alternative design for this. We could either use a temperature sensor uh, to to uh, measure the temperature uh, outside and inside. If it's too hot inside, it sends a signal. So that is an alternative uh, design that we could use if this doesn't, but this is where we are heading to. For the vent monitoring system, it is very important for our user to be able to know or to be able to just at a glance, uh, at the glance of their app, to be able to see how the, the system is, or if the if the van is working, the Wi-Fi is moving, if everything is uh, is fine, without necessarily climbing up the roof, because the faculty manager was telling us that they have to always climb up the roof to clean the to, to ensure that the vent is uh, there's enough air entering the building. So this kind of prevents that from happening. So what happens is that um, um, the the vent monitoring system, that, which is a camera. It sends uh, signal or um, pictures of the state of the vent to the to the app, so the user can equally request uh, to see the state of the of the vent, and the the monitoring system can also automatically send uh, pictures. For example, if the vent is blocked or if the the the, the system is not working, it automatically sends pictures to notify the user that. The system is not working so the, the user can either try to restart the system or go up to check uh, if it needs maintenance you know so this kind of help the user from 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 just going up the roof anytime just to go and ensure that the system is working so this is very reliable and very important to the to the system so yeah this is literally what we'll be doing for the project solving then However, it's like a super. Okay, so thank you.